is Manchester United 1. FC 21, Manchester United dropping two points in the first game of the Europa League. Draws, draws, draws after draws, bruv. Oh, we drugged us. Oh, we shot us, fam. Oh, we shot us. We don't need draws. We want Ws. I'm tired of it. All these draws. All these draws. Why do we keep picking up draws? 3.5 there, 3.5 there. Like, uh, uh, ounce there. Now, bloody hell, man. All I want is three points. All I want is my team to win. Eric Ten Hag, what a disgrace in terms of the way the team performed. The players as well, you are all shit. You are all shit. No, 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 no. SC20, Eric Davizi against Eric Ten Hag's old side. Put them to the sword at Old Trafford. You would think they would do that. Hell to the no. They let us down. How embarrassing it is for to be a Manchester United fan on a Wednesday night. Europa League football. And you can't even catch points at home at Old Trafford it's a disgrace it's been a disgrace we out here picking up draws we what is this what is this like I've seen so many players like Bruno Fraud Nandez is a fraud big time fraud Marcus Rashford as always doesn't produce doesn't produce but he gets all the biggins because he gives people free school meals what the fuck Bloody hell, give the free school meals to the back of the net, bro. Because that goal needs some goals. It needs to be fed. It needs to be fed with your goals, Marcus Rashford. With your ball shooting in the back of the net. That's all you need to do. Stop feeding kids. Feed the goal. Marcus Rashford. Again, he comes to the starting lineup and doesn't perform. I am pissed. I'm freaking pissed. So freaking pissed. Like a white chick. Nah, seriously, I'm, I'm, I've had enough sometimes, man. It's hard. It, it was a hard watch for a lot of us to see our team do that. And the first half as well. And then the second of this team, FC20, we allowed them to come back. Eric, Ericsson, Christian Ericsson, I love you, but you made that mistake. Bloody hell, bruv. You are captains. You are captains. Ericsson, you the man with the heart the pacemaker and you couldn't even keep pace and it was it not working did you not sense the danger didn't your pacemaker go and let you know that there's someone near you got it done so well to get the ball back but ericsson ericsson the iron man the iron heart the viking Ragnik Lothbrook will be upset with you right now. Ragnik Lothbrook would be upset with you, Christian Eriksen. As a Viking, he's disappointed. Thor is looking at you thinking, this is not what I taught you. My God, this is not how we do this. It is not how what we do in Asgard. This is not acceptable. It is not acceptable. The performance is not acceptable. This is a team that we should have wiped off straight away. Free new whitewash. I called it. But no. No, 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 they just want to embarrass us again. It is not easy. It is not easy. My head is gone. I'm tired. I have to... <sighs> Guys, let's talk about this game. Because the first half, where we mentioned that, it started off decent. In control of the game. In possession as well. Create some chances. But wasn't clearly the call enough. And then Ericsson eventually got the goal. And, and I, I have to praise Dallo for the assist for that goal. Because he done so well to get control. Even though it looked like he lost it. He still found a way to get a flick on from the outside of his boot to get to Ericsson. And then Ericsson smashing it in. We was 1-0 up. And then we was asking, can you give us some more? Please, sir. Can you give me more? All of a twist. Ha! Ah! We just wanted more goals. But Manchester United said, no, 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 no. We say no, 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 no. Singing the remix to Yes, 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 Yes by, by Destiny Child, bruv. It was just no, 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 no. Like, they let us down. And guess what? In the second half, SC20 did well because they came back into this game. They continued to push, to push, to push, to push. Then Ericsson ends up making the mistake, you know. Your surroundings. Know your surroundings, Christian Ericsson. It's not that hard. That pacemaker needs to be beeping. I thought the pacemaker will give you an alert. To say someone is near you, but no, 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 did it. Manchester United let us down again, and then of course, Lamas Lamas scores. 
Lamar scores makes it one one. Ericsson had, I mean, Andre Onana had no chance, zero chance, zero chance. And Manchester United, even the subs, and I'll tell you right now, our manager's substitutions are not working. What is Eric Ten Hag doing on the sideline? What instruction is Eric Ten Hag giving to those players on the sideline? Because I don't see it from him. I don't see the leadership in from him. I see Ruth Van Nistelrooy being more bothered, pacing up and down, like he's the manager. Just give him the job. Just give Ruth Van Nistelrooy the job. Because I'm tired of seeing Eric Ten Hag and his bald head, egghead, egghead, Humpty Dumpty. Anyway, guys. I'm frustrated. It is late. In terms of players today, Ericsson, you had the goal and you let me down. You scored the goal and then you was the reason why we conceded as well because you just left. You gave the ball away. You gave the ball away. Dalo, good. Dalo had a good game. I can't deny it. But there could have been so more to his game. Ogarte, you probably thinking. I expect a better from Manchester United. But it is what it is. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno. Let me repeat this again slowly. Bruno Fernandes is a fraud. And Marcus Rashford too. Him, them two are scrubs. Rashford comes in and produces nothing. Once again, I hope you sit, sit bench. And, and kiss the bench and hug the bench against Tottenham Hotspurs because I do not want to see you on the pitch. I do not want to see your boots touch the grass. I don't want to see your boots make any eff effect on that grass pitch against Tottenham. Don't want to see Old Trafford. I don't want Old Trafford green grass to fill the studs or the moulds of Marcus Rashford on Sunday. When he does, it's on the sideline because you're warming up. You're not good enough. You're overhyped. I've had enough of this. It's Bruno Fernandes and Marcus Rashford. It's just full of hype and it needs to end. Anyway, guys, man of the match today, you, us. We stood up. We stayed late. We watched the game. Now we have to go to bed and go to work or go to school angry. Some of, the, some of your partners might not get it tonight. They might not get it tonight because... Probably too depressed down there. It's probably gonna have got too depressed. It's already hmm, down. But anyway, guys, don't give the match. I'm gonna give it to Bruno Fernandez and Marcus Rashford. Those guys, we can't win jack shit with them too. It is what it is. This has been your match reaction from your boy Avor and Spice. You guys let me know of today's game as well, your thoughts. Who was your man in the match? Who was your dog in the match? Make sure you subscribe, share that, share as well across all social media platforms. Press that notification bell and become a member of Ready Night TV because I've had enough. Will Manchester United beat Tottenham? Let's find out. Till next time, guys. Peace out. Subscribe. Make sure you, um, you make sure you keep it united. Make sure you keep it ready now. Your boys out. Peace.